What's up, Buck fans and RBT Nation? We're back again to go over South Carolina prospect Javon Kinlaw. This is a first round selection possibility for the Bucks. So let's go over and review who he is, what's his background, and what things he does well, and what can he bring to the Buccaneers. So he's six foot five, three hundred twenty-four pounds. He's a big boy, long arms, thirty-four and seven eighths uh, inch arms, and ten and a half inch hands. So he fits the mold of like a big defensive tackle that can eat up space. But let's also d dive deep into the player analysis of strengths and weaknesses. His comparison to Michael Brockers. For me personally, yeah, big body, can take up space, open up lanes for linebackers, something this defense really, really likes. So if he's there at 14, he's going to be an option. But strengths they put built to intimidate with exceptional physical traits. Obviously, we went over that, thickly built. Explosive first step, flashes the club and hip, flip. I mean, he does do a lot of this. Mud, Muddy's pass protection. What other stuff do you see, plus, in his strengths? Yeah, when I when I look at Javon Kinlaw, I see uh, a disruptor. I see a guy that can, you know, get into the backfield. Uh, his, his first step isn't, you know, very fast, but he does a good job of, you know, utilizing his hands and, and knows how to, you know, get to his spot. Uh, he knows how to open up things for other players. So he's a guy that I see is very similar to kind of like how Indomitian Sue plays for us now. Um, he's a guy that can, you know, make things happen for other players, but also he can be a disruptive force in the backfield and make plays in the run game and also push the pocket in the pass game. Um, you know, looking at some of his weaknesses right now, he's got to learn how to um, play lower uh, with his pad level. Uh, he's got to learn how to use his – his hands more consistently and also how to, how to time his um, get off better so he can get, you know, just better overall consistency throughout so he can be more consistent as far as, you know, getting in the backfield and making plays. But yeah, I think he'd be a great fit for this scheme. I think he could play, you know, at the nose, he can play the five tech, three tech, all the positions you want across the line of scrimmage uh, to give you a good, uh, you know, good uh, front line guy next to uh, Vita Vea. I agree with that. So injury history, he had a hip labrum surgery in 2018. They kept him out at the end of the season. And then in the senior bowl, he didn't play in the game because of knee tendonitis. But how severe is the tendonitis? I mean, could it be Todd Gurley severe? Or is it just severe slightly like uh, Levante David going to get his knee scoped and he's back playing week one? I mean, so that's really up in the air. And then with this time of coronavirus, no one really knows, but let's dive deep into the tape game film and see what exactly he brings to this Buccaneer squad. Okay, guys, we went over the player, his height, his weight. Let's go over the game film now. So, again, I like looking at guys against Alabama simply because why? They have usually the best athletes, best overall type of players, and you'll see how guys play against that talent. So, Javon Kinlaw, obviously the biggest dude on that South Carolina defensive line. Let's see how he does in the run game first. So let's run this play. See how he does. Again, controlling the right guard. Get off of him. Makes the play. What do you see, Plus? Yeah, I mean, he, he does a good job here of just, you know, really controlling his man at the line of scrimmage. Uh, you know, you, you like how his eyes are up um, at all times, and he knows how to track the play. Uh, he ends up making, making the tackle, so... You know, that's something you like to see. I think that plays into what, you know, style our defense of it, you know, our defense is as a whole, where you have guys that are going to, you know, hold their guys up and then, you know, make the tackle, um, you know, going forward down the line. Yeah, a lot of it is just, I mean, looking to meet the guy here, leverage himself under him, extend those arms through to push him away so that he can eventually see the player, get down the line, use those long arms, wrap him up, Get him down on the ground. This is textbook playing. And that right guard he's playing is pretty damn good. Next play, again, let's watch his running game. Center tries to pick him up. Dude just gets knocked extremely far back. Talk about extension. Runs the guy down from behind. Down. What do you like? Yeah, again, it's just... It's, you know, making plays in the backfield. It's getting in there and, you know, holding his guy up, pushing him back, and he's able to, you know, make the play. So doing a good job of uh, just causing disruption, and, and that's what you want from uh, your defensive line. 
That's a big running back. He's running down, too. I mean, just, just look at the sheer just like explosiveness when he gets into the center's chest. I mean, I mean that's, a, that's like a high school kid getting thrown back. Get out of my way, and I'm going to get this guy down on the ground. Nasty. More run game action. Again, that center, same play. It's just in a different view. It just shows how much strength, I mean, meeting the center. Center's trying to meet him. Low man wins. He finds his chest plate. He pushes back. Tells him to get the hell away from me. Get off me, high schooler. Let me go make this play. Nasty. So, again, more. Let's get him down the line. What I love most about this play, what do the Bucks ask the defensive tackles to do a lot? Just clog holes in the run game. Occupy two guys. A lot of stuff you saw Vita Vea and Sue do. So, Hikes the ball, center wants to engage, left guard's coming on to him, maintains both, eyes behind the line, chucks the center. The center just did not have a good day. <laughs> and makes a play. What do you like? Yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, he, he knows how to, you know, he knows how to cause uh, double teams and he knows how to take up space, like you said. Uh, I mean, he's freeing those linebackers, you know, to make plays in the backfield and and, and that's what you want to see. I think that's, you know, that's what Vita Vea does. Um, you have an Indomitian Sioux does it a lot as well. So his ability to, you know, get in the way of, of two offensive linemen and hold those guys up, uh, that's something that fits our defense very well. And that could be very beneficial, especially if you have guys like Vita Vea who can, you know, make plays in the backfield. Yeah. Devin White, Levante David would be happy to have him. Right, exactly. Let's go. Again, just is him in the run game. Again, I, I'm pretty sure Todd Bowles, Bruce Arians would love him in the run game. I mean, just this this right guard's no no joke. Again, he's a little high. I mean, to me, the right guard's winning with leverage. It's just Javon Kinlaw is just that long, that big. I think he even went for the strip there. Yeah. Good player. And then first pass play. Let's let this run by. Again, notice his pass. Gets off center. Tua tries to get rid of it quick. What do you like on this? Yeah, again, a, a little a little too high uh, for me. But, again, he does a good job of, you know, shedding, shedding his man, getting through there, causing disruption. I like how he gets his hands up, you know, pretty quickly uh, to get into his face. So, you know, again, he does his job. He forces an incomplete pass. So. Um, again, good job by him. But here's more pass rush moves again. So this time it looks like more of a stunt coming across. Again, I was talking about pass rush moves. He's dipping under that center's arm and making the play. Yes, the linebacker probably gets there first. But still, he's executing his plays, lateral movement, hands away from him, dips his shoulder, hips, gets under, rips through, makes the play. Yeah, again, good job of, uh, again, forcing disruption. And, again, the linebacker has an easier path, does a good job of beating. It looks like that's uh, Harris there, the running back. Yeah. And then Kinlaw coming in, you know, after, you know, to make sure the play is finished. So, yeah, good job of executing, you know, what they call there. Yeah. And I think this is the – oh, my, just disruptive. But, again, this is an area where – I just wish he just got lower because you can see how, yeah, initial move, that little quick dip and rip works quickly. But then the tight end comes in to double and look, he's standing straight up and then he can't get leverage to make more of an impact on the play to it just gets rid of it. There's a different yeah. angle. I'll just let you run through it. Yeah, I mean, he does a good job of, again, being that initial guy. But, yeah, if he gets a little bit lower, he can kind of bulldoze through the tight end there and, you know, maybe have a bigger impact. But it's just, yeah, he's just got to learn how to combine his moves and to where he can finish more consistently. But, yeah, he does a good job of, again, he's had his way with his center in this game of making plays in the backfield. Yeah, so, I mean, just running it through, I mean – he gets through, sidesteps, gets his outside shoulder, outside arm on the center's outside arm, dips his, again, inside arm, rips through, 
looks like the tight end came over to help out. But again, it's leverage wins. He just gets stopped because he's standing too high. If he was lower, he would just bulldoze through and probably ran into Tua using that tight end. But he tried to go around instead of going through. So that's my only. And if that's the only thing I have to knock on. Yeah, he just uses his pure power and goes right through the guy. Ends up showing his his lateral agility here. As you can see, he just overpowers him, and he can and he shows his ability to turn that corner very quickly and chases down two for the sack. It's total, very total domination. <laughs> very impressive. Yeah, I mean, everyone's seen this play. I mean, this is probably his most highlighted play. Um, it was a big play in the game, so he did a great job of just again still a little bit too high, but he just uses his long arms that he's got, and he can just run right through the guy. But again, he, the ability to actually, okay, Tua knows he's coming, going up in the pocket to get away from him, but still, ability to get back after the play, run after him, run him down, that takes athleticism. He does have it. Oh, and yeah, yeah. He's got plenty of athleticism. And his ability to, yeah, to turn the corner. So, yeah, very excited, as he should be. Love it. One more pass play. Again, standing too high. He should do more than this. I mean, that's he's just reaching now. Right. Something that, I mean, if you were lower, you'd gain leverage. He's bigger. He's stronger than this dude. He proved it in the last play, but now he, this looks like a dud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is something that, you know, NFL offensive lines are going to pretty much have his way with him, you know, if he tries to win this way. I mean, he's just not going to be able to win against NFL caliber linemen standing up like that. So he's going to have to learn how to, you know, especially at his size, you know, 6'6", six, six, he's going to have to learn how to get his shoulder level down and, and play through uh, his guy instead of trying to win, you know, with just pure power. Yeah, but I mean, again, if that's his only knock, oh, the, check this play out, though. Talk about hustle. We'll see you. Yeah, you love the motor there. Again, never giving up on the play. Okay, so it's his job is occupy space. It's only a three-man rush, holding two, watching the play behind him, tries to jump to knock it down. Okay, I'm not going to give up on the play. I'm going to knock the crap out of this dude. 324 pounds running right through you. Hustle. Yeah, I mean, that. those are the type of plays we've seen Vita Bear do. Okay, let's move on to the Vandy tape now. Again, let's go over his run-stopping ability first against this Vanderbilt offense. What the Bucks like to do most is stop the run first, then Ed Rushers eat later. So, Javon Kinlaw, what can you bring to the Buccaneers? Again, maintaining his spot, keeping eyes behind the behind the line, making the play on the ball. He's bigger, he's stronger, he's going to win. Yeah, again, just showing his ability, keep his head up. I like how his eyes are always in the backfield. And then he can quickly change direction, which is really good for his size. I think that's what's most impressive. Even his ability that he is playing high, his ability to change direction so quickly is uh, very impressive. And just and look you at see the, see the long arms yeah. in, in effect there. Look at the execution. I mean, extend him up, maintain your eyes behind the field. See, he's going to go outside. Okay, I mean, literally just throwing a guy, swimming over his head, executing his arms, coming down, swiping him away. The guy tries to bounce it back inside, but it's too late. Jamar Kinlaw is too big, too fast, too physical. He's going to win. Again, more run stopping. Get into the chest. Okay, this is what I love. Bucks always ask this. Occupy two guys to open up a lane for what? Your middle linebackers to come inside. So Javon Kinlaw is here on two guys. He's going to maintain this block because this center is going to want to get it down on this middle linebacker. It ain't going to happen because Javon Kinlaw is going to make sure he doesn't get there. I mean, and even watch this referee. He should see this, technically. I mean, that should be a hold. He's got his jersey, pulled right. on it. But still, that's his job. He's executing the defense the way it's supposed to be run. And this is why some people think some guys suck. Oh, they're not making productive plays. Their numbers don't show. This is what they're not seeing. He knows he has to occupy these two guys to free up a middle linebacker to make a play. He didn't make the tackle, but he made the play on this. I'll let you dive deeper. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's team defense, and that's that's how the Bucks play. I mean, this is you know perfect example of, of showing that 
and his ability to get into, you know, pretty much the chest of, of both guys and, and really, you know, take them out of the play. Yes, he uses his hands here a little bit, you know, maybe gets away with the hold. But again, it's just showing, you know, he knows what he has to do on this play. And he takes up two guys and number six has an easy play to make the tackle. So picture that get, as Devin White, right? Right. And uh, I mean, that's what you want to see. That's perfect execution. Real nice play. Oh, this was something I funny I like too. So he's after the play. I this is a little tap. <laughs> yeah, so, a little little knee tap. It was just a, little, a love tap. Yeah. And then slapped in the face. Yeah, it draws the flag. Here comes a flag. And he doesn't do anything. He's like, listen, you just got defeated. Leave it alone. But that's, that was just funny, something I saw in the in the clip. But again, we're going through the tape. Stop on the run. Again, what did you see there again? Watch his hands. I got to get two guys. Why? My stunt's coming around to get in there. So I got to occupy one and two here so my dude can have an easier job to get down low, to get after the quarterback. Just enough. And then look, big pull, knock that play down. It's just, it's pretty. I mean, he runs yeah. the defense right. Yeah, his length on, you know, his arm length is just ridiculous. I mean, his, his ability to get, you know, his hand on that football, it's really impressive. But again, yeah, it's just taking up, taking up both blockers. Again, I don't know how he gets away with that hold there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, the referee right like, there. Yeah, what is the ref looking at? I mean, like, he's staring just... right at it and he doesn't see it. So I thought that was funny. But yeah, I mean, he lets, he lets go right at the right time. And then his ability to see the play. And then, you know, make the deflection really impressive. Yeah. I mean, and then look at Ken Law. He's just, his eyes are looking this way too. He's right. like, my, I got to hold this block so that my guy can get in there to disrupt the play. Like he knows what he's got to do. And then that's just quick. That's really heady player right there. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Pass rush ability. You got to love it. I'll let you break down this one. Yeah, I mean, this is just really quick. I mean, just a nice little up and ripping under. Um, gets, you know, by the by the center pretty quickly. I mean, that's just nasty right there. I mean, look again, at the initial power, too. Right. And again, he's just so raw with his ability still. I mean, if, if he gets any type of, you know, really good coaching and, and works on his technique, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, this is just winning on pure power. You know, it's nothing special as far as overall technique. Again, he's still running a little too high, but it shows that he has the ability to, to make these kind of moves. It's just he's got to find a way to be more consistent with it. And that's one of the reasons why he only had six sacks on the season, um, because he was just winning with pure ability. It wasn't anything where, you know, he technique-wise, but again, great play, forces interception. That's a game-changing play right there. And then making the block. Right, making the block as well. Love it. Team player. Again, more pass rush moves. Yeah, again, good quick step. Gets in, in, in the way of two guys again. You know, drawing the double team. You know, obviously the Bucks will have guys that can win one-on-ones on the outside. Not sure what 53 is doing here <laughs> on the edge. I mean, pretty much should have went after the quarterback there. For some reason, he changed his direction. I mean, it looks like it's two stunts on the outside. It looks like both these guys are going to be stunting in right. to come inside. But I don't know what the heck this dude's doing. He's got to complete his stunt inside. Yeah, a little hesitation there. I guess he wasn't expecting 74 to double-team Kinlaw, but still, you have the open on the outside. You might as well take it. But, I mean, with me, it's just, okay, he's, again, winning with power through the center, chucks him to the side, tries to swim move. The right guard knows he has to help. This hole opens up for this linebacker to come into. But he's still trying to fight, spin move to get around. And then this one was an incompletion. <laughs> it wasn't Tua. I have more. Pass yeah, rush, is, fighting. Yeah. yeah, still a little bit too high, but, again, making an impact with his length, using those arms again. Again, he always has his head up, which is good. So he sees the play, you know. 
Not sure if this one's a touchdown. This one looks was a like touchdown. It, it was a touchdown. <laughs> it looked like it was supposed to be a touchdown. Because yeah. the guy has his man beat by a good six yards. But I mean, to me, it's like, okay, so the center pretty much has position. Look at look at the hand placement for the center right on his chest plate here. He's right. got the other one under that arm in the chest plate again. But still, he's fighting to get those arms off. Goes for that elbow, pushes it away aggressively. And look at the hip torque, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, he went from hips level to hips literally torque to the side using that leverage of to push into those guy that center's arms. Get him off once. He's still pulling. That's that's a, a hold. Mm-hmm. He already got away with two earlier. Still running through. He's not getting tripped over his own self. Couldn't make the play, but still disrupted it. Sadly, it was a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you like his effort. Like, his effort is there. You can see it. You know, you see it here again. You know, using his length to just shed the blocker. Then, Does a good job of, yeah, twisting his hips. And getting the guy off of him. I mean, that's a lot of mobility for a 6'5", 320 dude, 325. I mean, look at the hip. I mean, this is little stuff that people need to look at. He's dipping his hips down, getting that leverage to push the guy away, and then get inside. With a rip or a swim, whatever you're going to use, he's still executing plays. If you got a little bit lower, this, the sky's the limit for this dude. Yeah, it's just, just finding that consistent pad level, but... Again, yeah, here, I mean, taking on two guys, pretty much forcing a hold there on, on the center. Imagine if this one-on-one is Vita Vea. Right, he's going to win. Yeah, just like 95 did there. But And that's what you want. I mean, I think it would be a great, great pick for the Buccaneers if, if he was available and, you know, that's where they're thinking. Yeah, so it's the quickness off the line here. Swims over left guard center tries to help out so if he's lower he rips through that arm and he's holding he's bear hugging him i mean it's a mm-hmm. hold yeah but if he's lower not standing all the way up he can probably fight through that either way that one wasn't incompletion but one more yeah. i believe yeah Again. nice yeah nice rip through again still a little bit too high but he just, I mean, he's got good effort and he shows his ability to continue to push those legs and move forward. He's always fighting with his hands, which is nice to see. Well, I Just watch this area. <laughs> I mean, don't look at his ass, guys, but just look at his ability to twist, hip mobility. If he just bends those knees a little bit more, I think he's just using those hips a little bit too much. Yeah. But bend those knees, get leverage, get low, drive this guy up and back. But still, look at that swim. He's pretty much punching this guy in the face to get over him and almost gets his hands on the ball. Just great play by the wide receiver. Yeah, that's a nice catch. Running through. Yeah, he he wins with the swim move. I'll give him that. Yeah, I mean, he shows ability with his hands. I mean, he's got – and that's what he's got. He's got long arms, so he's able to, you know, really use those violent hands that he has – it's just, it's just him. You know, you want to quicken that pace a little bit, and that will happen if he can get a little bit lower, um, be a little more consistent, and really get into the into the chest of the the lineman. Then you'd be much better off. But check this out. So reach. He knows he has two arms on him. He's passing the ball. So with this inside or outside arm, he's going to chop down on his yeah. arms to get rid of him, and then he's going to swim over with the other arm. Yeah, Quickly, really good I mean, there. That, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's good technique there. Again, you just want to see it more consistently. But again, if he's in a defense like Tampa Bay, he's going to have opportunities to have one, you know, more one-on-one matchups, which is going to be really impressive. God. <laughs> so again, this is an immediate quick win. Chuck yeah. the guy, get after the ball. Yeah, he just reads it, reads it well there, anticipates what the guard's trying to do. That That's running crucial. back is, thank God, it was a quick pass. Yeah, if it wasn't a quick pass, the quarterback might have been dead. <laughs> no, but I mean, dude's powerful, strong, length. I mean, he's got it all. But let's let's go in depth about will we see him as a potential Buccaneer or not. Okay, we went over the player. So, plus, 
What do you think of Javon Kinlaw overall as a prospect? Yeah, I mean, I, I really like him. I think he's got a lot to offer. Again, we talked about just his overall size and length. His change of direction is is surprisingly impressive. Uh, his ability to be a disruptor in the backfield and, and really just overall motor and effort, I think, is really good. Um, again, I think the only worrisome that you have is, you know, obviously the injury history um, with the hip. You know, there's a little concern there. But, you know, as far as the play goes, you like to see him be a little bit lower in his pad level. A little bit better with his um, get off could be more consistent, but I think putting him next to Vita Vea and Dominic and Sue, and then you have JPP and Shaq Barrett, I think that could be a very formidable you know front front line to have, and I would not you know I would not uh, hate it at all if he was the pick um, you know at fourteen. I think it would be a good a very good pick and a guy that can develop into you know a potential star um, someday. Yeah, like you said, develop Vita Vea and learn the. The ways of doubling up guys, still causing pressure, helping the middle linebackers. like This is a perfect scheme for him, I think. So if he was there at 14, I'd laugh if Jason Light didn't immediately go to that video conference and say, that's my dude. I mean, I mean, at 14, the value he has. Knee tendonitis, okay. Like, I don't think it's that pressing of an issue. If his hip had surgery a year ago and he still played this well last year, I think he's perfectly fine with that hip. So... To me, injury concerns isn't really there. I think overall, the only knock I have is he plays high. If that's the only knock, that's something you can teach a guy. You can't teach a guy size, strength, speed. You just can't teach that. And he has everything you can't teach, but he just has to get a little lower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I agree. And I, I think, I think you know, looking at it, a lot of his plays are coming over the center and the guard. And I think, you know, in this defense, he's going to be playing more on the outside where he's up against guards and tackles. So he's going to have more ability to, to make plays even more. So I think, it, yeah, like you said, it'd be an excellent pick um, if he's there at 14. Yeah, so if you don't know, guys, we like him a lot. Very, And I guarantee he could probably play a five-tech, too, early on if it needs be. But if he's there, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the pick over an offensive tackle. But that's just our assessment, guys. If you see otherwise, let us know in the comments down below, and I hope you enjoy the video. Till the next one.